Moving on to our next interesting example over here. A number consists of three digits whose sum is said to be 10. And the middle digit is equal to the sum of the other two. If the number is increased by 99, then its digits are reversed. What will be the number? This question can be analyzed from your options. That is, we can guess the number from the options. Let us see our options. Our options are A. 145 B. 253 C. 370 and D. as 352 So, from our options, we can say that 145 can be written as 1 plus 4 plus 5, which is nothing but 10. 253 is nothing but 2 plus 5 plus 3, that is nothing but 10 again. 370 is nothing but 3 plus 7 plus 0, that is nothing but 10 again. 352 is equal to 3 plus 5 plus 2 which is nothing but 10 again. Hence, all your four options satisfy the first condition that it should have their sum to be 10. Next, we are going to check out for the second condition to be true. That is, a middle number should be the sum of the extreme two numbers that is the middle digit should be equal to the sum of the other two so our middle digit over here is 4 and 1 plus 5 is 6 which is not equal hence the condition is not satisfied for number 145 whereas in 253 if you see 5 is nothing but 2 plus 3 that is equal to 5 hence the condition is satisfied in 370 if you see 7 is not equal to 3 plus 0, that is 3. Hence, the condition is not satisfied. Here you have your middle number to be 5 and your extreme ends are 3 and 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. Hence, your condition satisfied. So, 253 and 352 satisfies your second condition. Hence, these two numbers are taken forward for your third condition. So the final condition says that if the number is increased by 99, then the numbers will be reversed. The answer obtained will be reversed. So here if you see 253 plus 99 is equal to 352, which is the reverse of the number 253, 352. And next if you see 352 plus 99 is nothing but 451. Hence, 253 is the only number which satisfies our three conditions. Hence, 253, that is option B, is your answer. This is an important question. As you can see, it has appeared in SSC and IBPS exams. Moving on to our next interesting question over here. The difference between a two-digit number and the number obtained by interchanging the digits is said to be 36. So, what will be the difference between the sum and the difference of the digits of the number? So, you have to find the difference between the sum and the difference of the digits of the number. If the number has the ratio to be 1 is to 2, that is, your two digits are in the ratio 1 is to 2. Well, this is not only an interesting question. It is important as it has appeared in GATE, GRE and government exams. As we have learned in our previous examples, we can form a two-digit number by taking X and Y where X will be your units digit, sorry, your tens digit, and y will be a unit's digit. So here I am taking a number 
x y and its interchange digit will be nothing but y x. So the difference of the number and the interchange digit will be 36. That is what is given in your question. Next, let us take a lively example where you have 48 as your number and its inverse is nothing but 84. So 84 minus 48 is 36. Similarly, we have to find a number. Well, let's see our options. Option A, 4, B, 8, C, 16, and D, none of these. We have our tens digit to be 2x and our units digit to be x. Our first condition says that the difference between the number and the inverse number is 36. That is, let us say a number b 10 into y plus x and the inverse number b 10 into x plus y. The difference between these two is nothing but 36. And next, we have our next condition which says the ratio should be 1 is to 2. That is, one number should be twice the other. By applying the second condition, in your previous condition, you have your equation as follows. That is, 10 into 2x plus x minus 10 into x plus 2x is equal to 36. Similarly, if you see over here, your tenths unit is 2x and your units digit is x. This satisfies a condition that the ratio should be 1 is to 2. One number is twice the other number and the given is the difference is equal to 36 so as we have seen over there in our second condition and third condition we have the equation as 10 into 2x plus x minus 10 into x plus 2x to be 36 Multiplying 10 into 2 is 20 plus x minus 10 into x is 10x plus 2x which is equal to 36. Tallying your x terms you get 21x minus 12x which is equal to 36. 21 minus 12 is nothing but 9x which is equal to 36. x is nothing but 36 by 9 which says your x to be 4. Hence, a number in units digit is 4. So, we have to find the difference between the sum and the difference of the digits of the number. So, what will be the sum of the two numbers that is 2x plus x? And the difference of the numbers is nothing but 2x minus x. So, we need to find out the difference between the sum and the difference. So, as you tally the equation, you get 2x. Substitute the value of x over here. Hence, your answer is 8. So, the difference between the sum and the difference of the numbers is nothing but 8. Option B.